I'm here at Person Hall at Kravis Center in West Palm Beach, and I'm with Tracy Butler. You are the Director of Education at the Kravis Center. Yes, I am, and I've been here for 15 years, and really am so thankful to be here working at the center. We're a nonprofit organization, and our main pillar is about education and providing comprehensive arts education for our community. Two million school children have been through educational programs here at the Kravis Center. Yes, we're very proud of that figure, and um, we also provide transportation for students to get here for field experiences and every year we spend about a hundred thousand on that uh, transportation so it's a significant uh, contribution to make sure those experiences take place. These are not taxpayer dollars. We're no, talking. no, these are private, privately funded. A um, lot of our monies that go into our operations are private uh, and foundation funding. We have a little bit of uh, state funding and um, as well as corporate sponsorships and those kinds of things. Now as part of the activities here, you're meeting educational objectives every time the school children come in the door. Yes, they are coming in for an experience that is helping to support what the teachers in the classroom are teaching. So um, they're engaged in an artistic way and they're also engaged in sort of an educational academic way. Mm -hmm. Such as? Such as if they were to come here to see a show like Apollo to the Moon that we had earlier this uh, year in our Dreyfus Hall. It was uh, all about the, the Apollo um, uh, program and our uh, NASA and, and uh, one man's sort of journey to become an astronaut. And that particular production really helped to reinforce the earth sciences and astronomy that uh, students are learning in middle school. And teachers also get an education here as well. They do. We do offer uh, professional development for teachers through the arts. So we're using art strategies to teach other subject areas, other academic subject areas. So they're here for Saturday workshops. We also have what we call sort of arts coaching or um, demonstration teaching in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So the children and the teachers are both benefiting from the programs at the Kravis Center. Yes, and parents. So we do have homeschoolers that come and also private school students. Uh, we have a family fair series that parents are welcome to bring their children. What are the kinds of uh, performances or lectures that the children will see here? They will see all kinds of theatrical, dance, music performances during the year that are specifically tied to curriculum that they are studying in the classroom. So it's a, it's a wonderful um, experience that is supported by study guides that help prepare our students to come to see shows. We have a lunch and learn series for adults. We also have a program called the DeGeorge Academy where we have students that come here and study dance, vocal music, and theater on Saturdays during the year. Uh, they receive private coaching for students at our neighborhood Title I schools. Mm. So that's a great program. And we have a summer program coming up called the Broadway Artist Intensive, which is for middle school and high school students, uh, freshmen in college as well. It's an audition program. And it's for those students who want to uh, follow a career path in the musical theater. 75,000 students just this year coming through the doors of the Kravis Center. So you may not have come to a performance here but your child may have. Tracy Butler, thank you. Thank you so much.